Sounds like a good plan. One of these days, I want to go to Comic Con. That's that. That is something I will check off my life list. One of these days. Maybe, Sounds like a good maybe time. Maybe worth my faith go to Comic Con. Well, that's the hope. <laughs> that's the hope. Maybe like I'll actually go, and we'll like have our own studio thing, and I'll stand up there and be like, "This is news from Comic Con." Yeah. Well, I do happen to know that there is a another YouTube personality that goes to a lot of these comic conventions that is from our general area. Yeah. Um, but uh, by no, I mean I know he is from our area. Uh. But maybe, maybe we could work out a collab with him sometime. Maybe, maybe not. What, but, what, who is it? Um, it's like, it's like. Uh, I can't say it. It's a weird, like, German thing. Studios. Freudian film, films? No. It's the like guy. S. Starts with an S. Freudian. Freudian. Yeah, it's all like that. Whatever. Yeah, the guy. He does the, the, the cosplay interviews. And he dresses ben as. Pace. Uh, yeah, Ben Pace. There you go. He's from around here? I like that guy. I watch his interviews yeah, all the time. I think he's really funny. No, but he's done. It's his final season. I know. I, I did see that he was saying that, but he's going to do other projects. But I was, that's what I'll say. Like, maybe, maybe we get it with him. We say, like, but hey, he's you can pass the torch really? off to us. How'd from you, from our general he's... area. Um, well, he's, he, mentions it, area. he mentions it at one point that huh. he's where he's from in particular, and I, and I recognize where it was. It's in Maryland. But... Oh. We should hit this guy up. Be like, yo, dude, we're, we think you're awesome. That, that's what I'm saying. Can we just do awesome things with you? And we are just discussing this live right now. Like, and everyone, maybe he's watching. Maybe. Maybe watching. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. But if you are, I'm down to do some cool things. It sounds like we'd have a good time, bro. So uh, ho- holla at us, you know? Yeah, I mean, I've liked his work, too. So it's like, it's cool. He's a funny guy. Yeah. Well, I knew exactly who you were talking about when you're like, uh, the guy, and I was like, you're like, starts with an S. I was like, Freudian Industries or something like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but Ben Pace, you're, you're, it's the, it's the guy. He's so. the guy, and he always has really cool costumes on. He does a really good job with that. Yeah, I, I did like. He does how, funny interviews too. Yeah, and I did like how clearly when he first started doing it, he did uh, the cosplay kind of as as a joke. It was like the the simplest Iron Man stuff, and he he really mm-hmm. got into it as a uh, kind of as a joke. He was whatever, and then. As he kept being around this stuff, he started improving and improving his own stuff because he clearly mm-hmm. got more and more into the yeah. what was actually going on and was like, "Oh, this this isn't just funny. This is cool stuff." So yeah, I mean, he, he's funny and he does good interviews. And yeah, what else do you want? Like really, us. That's ben Pace want. is a beast. I really <laughs> think Ben Pace is. So yeah, all right, um, all right, producer, your job to work on getting us together with Ben Pace. All right, you know, I'll I'll see what I can do. I'll see if I can if I have to track him down and knock on his door. Then, hopefully, he doesn't give me a restraining order. But well, maybe yeah, we'll get, hope, maybe while we're negotiating that restraining order, <laughs> bring your kids or something. Have the kids run up to his door. And be like, oh, you're Ben Pace. <laughs> Didn't realize that. That's the, that's the real key. Pro tip, everyone: if you don't want to get a restraining order against from uh, someone else, use your kids to contact them. <laughs> Exactly. small children <laughs> exactly nobody's gonna call file a restraining order against like a small kid so you know that sounds remember, like that a plan to me for, for a little while as soon as they turn like 12 probably it's not gonna work anymore people yeah. are more likely to put restraining orders against 12 year olds yeah, they'd be like there's some little kid stalking me and I got one piece of hair that's right in the way but so it is Monday night and we are going to be done talking about Ben Pace even though I think we could have a whole topic on just Ben Pace <laughs> I really think we could maybe next week we will just talk about Ben Pace I imagine if we did a topic just about Ben Pace he might be more willing to to do something with us just because I mean, come on so this I mean, is I the would. topic for next week I've already I've already gotten it done in my head Ben Pace is a beast and we'll just talk for like 20 minutes about how cool he is all right. Well, well that, that's set. So everyone watching that next week, <laughs> the Ben Pace I don't know show. Topic that ben Hunter, but we're going to do a show. We're going to do a topic specifically about Ben Pace. Be like, yo, Ben Pace, please come on our show. It'd be awesome. Or let us come on your show. That would be awesome too. Um, but yeah, come on our show, bro. And, or meet up. I'll buy you a drink or something. I don't know. I've honestly been thinking about trying to contact him. I just, I haven't done it for, for like over a year because especially when he was really still doing his stuff, I wanted to tell him, like, hey, you know what? You don't have to travel so far. He's not really into the, the anime convention scene, but for cosplay, we have one. We have the Kats- biggest. Con- yeah, that is the biggest cosplay 
uh, convention, or at least it was a few years ago, was the biggest cosplay convention almost in the, the U.S. because they had the, the cosplay. Uh, um, yeah, not that I'm stalking her or anything, but I know Jessica Negri shows up at CatsCon a bunch. And well, she's whole, like one of the biggest. Yeah, well, no, a whole lot of them there. used to, like a whole lot of the really big ones had at various points gone through Cats, CatsCon. Like I said, they had the um, the world cosplay whatever preliminary mm. the u.s prelims there like the summit that's what it's world cosplay summit yeah but it's always it's one. always held at an awkward time of the year i feel it's held in the middle of february it's on president's day weekend so you have mm. these cosplayers most of them are pretty scantily clad times freezing it's like oh man that's like the worst <laughs> to have it you know they don't want to dress up in those outfits but they go to it and, and part of it is that the the hotel that it's at now is a really good space it's really good lighting yeah at uh national harbor Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Gaylord. Yeah, it's good space for for lots of stuff. It, it's huge. So, but. Yeah, it's, it's humongous. It's got its yeah. The whole hotel gets rented out with, which if you're a cosplayer that wants to join the international one, I might have an extra room for you next time it comes around. Just just saying, just holler at me. <laughs> you, you have to be on our show, of course, and you have to hype us up a good amount. I, I imagine, far. but but hey, we'll promote you. You know, if you want to plug something, we'll, we'll plug it. Yeah, we'll promote you. <laughs> No, but if you want a free place to stay, go ahead and hit me up, and we'll work it out. But you have to promote us, really. And we'll promote you to our five fans. Just say, one of your cosplays over the weekend might need to be Brian. <laughs> cosplays? <laughs> be like, yeah, I'm that dude from that YouTube channel. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, watch my face. Who? But, but it is Monday night. It is Monday night. <laughs>